everyone and welcome welcome to today's video my name is Costina and in today's video we are going to rate every single eyeshadow palette that I tried this year 2021 are you ready to see which one is number one and which one is the worst one well go ahead and keep on watching it before we get into it I just wanted to say I really appreciate uh you stopping by and watching this video i would appreciate even more if you would subscribe and like this video it would help me a lot it will help my channel grow a little bit more on this channel we're playing with a lot of makeup not necessarily everything new there's some that are older one but i'm always gonna let you know the truth about every single product and not only that but you're gonna see it applied and everything like that on this channel i'm not trying to be perfect i'm not trying to make anything look perfect it's just me myself and i and i'm just trying to do makeup looks that are suitable for everyday use or even though i mean i do have some some mystery boxes as well on this channel so if you're up for that please smash that subscribe button and also that like button all right let's move so i tried seven eyeshadow palettes this uh this year yeah we're in march so yeah i tried a bunch of number them. seven so number seven it is this one from color pop this is called make it fearless pressed powder palette this is on the last one because i don't like necessarily that yellow that yellow was so disappointing when i saw it and i tried it on my eyes and but also because these two eyeshadows that i absolutely love they're not intend to be used uh on the immediate area of the eye so then you're left with that yellow that i don't like this gold shade that I have in almost every palette and this brown that I also have in almost every palette so then there's nothing special about this one and I'm a little bit disappointed about Colourpop and the way they made this one you know it, it was supposed to be for make it black campaign I don't know it, it should have been a little done a little bit just a little bit better that's my opinion now next one this one I'm surprised even myself like looking at the things that I have and putting this so like almost on the last place is surprised even myself but this is Tom Ford the eye color quad 21 last dance and I bought this one from um, makeup company that's I think that's how it's called and uh, this is how it looks inside I did not pay full price $88 I only paid $33 I believe and this one it is a discontinued palette so I'm not sure if everything they have in that store is necessarily discontinued but I just feel like the 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 quality of this it's not worth $88 not even $33 I will say like for me these are really nice ones but there's nothing it is nothing spectacular about it like this shimmer I was expecting a little bit more out of it and it's not as powerful as I thought it to be like on the eye on the hand that looks more powerful than when I actually apply it on your eye and you don't have a lot of options with this one like you can only create two looks with this one and that's it you know so because of that and because it's so expensive this one is on six Right. So number five, I have another ColourPop 5 pan, and this one is Ballad. I really like this one. The only thing is, I don't usually wear um, cool tones. Um, cool tones are not usually 
my vibe but I did purchase this one because of the cool tones because I don't have them in my in my eyeshadow palette and because I wanted to try it really bad and it is really beautiful and you can create some beautiful looks with it this one right here works as an amazing amazing uh highlighter i did try it in a video i'm gonna put it up here if you want to go and watch it but this is a really beautiful palette it's just i have better palettes on the other spots that's why i made it here now another one from colourpop i tried a bunch of things from colourpop apparently this year so this one i bought it oh no i i was like i was buying something oh i was buying the make it black collection and i needed something else to reach that amount to be able to get free shipping and i got this one that is called the little ray of sunshine and this is beautiful I love this matte shades. I know it's just all matte and it's nothing really spectacular, but it's really beautiful. And I tried it off camera. I did not try it on camera, and I really enjoy those uh, those eyeshadows. And um, I love the way it looked on my eyes. So I really like this one. Number three. This is an eyeshadow palette that I don't want to use it for my eyes i want to use it for my face this is dominic cosmetics and this is the transition palette yes so i absolutely love this for my face not so much for my eyes i don't i don't consider this being an an uh, eyeshadow palette i consider more like a face palette but i put it on number three because it is really beautiful for the face number two this is an eyeshadow palette that i cannot believe i have it in my collection i got this one in um what was a beautilish lucky bag and i do like it i enjoy it i like it i do like the quality the only thing is those those colors they're just very close to each other. There's not, there's not a lot of uh, makeup look that you can create with this one. Um, but it's beautiful. It has a nice formula. It's blendable. It's nice. It's an everyday palette. It's just that I don't think you can create a lot of looks with this one. Number one, drum roll, please. It is this one. Yes, it is an eyeshadow palette. It's a five pan eyeshadow palette from Colourpop, believe it or not. And this one is the crush one. I love that. I love this. This is your everyday right there. Like I could use this every day and not get annoyed with it because I know exactly how it's gonna look like. I know exactly what to put on my eyelids. Like I absolutely love this five pan i think this is the best one out of all of them that they made this is the best one in my opinion from ColourPop. so this is number one these are the ranking that i was able to put together uh for this video so let me know down below which one you thought is going to be on one or if you're surprised or if you're not if you like it if you have it so that is it thank you so much for watching and i will see you all next time bye